if I were to ever write a book. My main character it would be about a character that is supernaturally born, where God and the devil, the angels and the fallen angels all come together and they make a deal that Satan would go all in with everything he has to stop his character from achieving his goals, his missions that is set by the Holy Spirit. And Satan has to do everything he can, plus God makes an agreement with Satan that that he won't, but he'll make an agreement that, and he will tell him that he's going to return everything back from the kingdom that was stolen from Satan. And I wouldn't really call it an agreement, but you know, that he's created in this lab. His name is Derek Helix. He's made by the Holy Spirit, but at the same time, He's human, but at the same time, he's not fully human. He has his own powers. And the Holy Spirit is like multi-sensory as well. So he's like half human, but he has like supernatural abilities as well. Kind of like Moses and Elijah when they come back down to earth during the tribulation period. And he's going to go through and restore the kingdom by returning these crystals that were brought in and utilized as things that were utilized as the new age, like crystals and diamonds for that reason. I was reading a story, I heard from, a, I think it was Perry Stone talking about how Satan fell, but one of his demons or something fell and they were, had found these green crystals. And it made me think of, uh, it was in Enoch or somewhere where they were talking about it, or he was talking about it and it made me think of, it makes me think of crystals, how they could have been stolen from God's kingdom and used for new age, if you think about it. And so Derek did the story. It wouldn't start out like the, the story would actually, I mean, it would start out that way. But Derek in the story would have a wife named Abby. And it would be a fake wife, as in he never had this wife. He was just being tricked to the story. But God comes in a dream, Derek's dream. And... <clears throat> It would be his pretended wife, but it's actually God telling Derek he's put on the mission by God, but he thinks it's a wife, Abby, to collect these crystals. And each one of these crystals he has to go after, he's going to be, you know, facing a lot of spiritual warfare. There's a lot more to it. I want to put things in there, like at the mountain of Sinai. Uh, he's going to have, like, uh, his own abilities to do things and all this other stuff, but he would be fully human. I mean, he would be human, but he would have his own super He's not transhuman. He's He just has his own supernatural abilities that have been given to him by the Holy, by the Holy Spirit. It almost makes me think of the Trinity for some reason, but that's a little breakdown of what I would want for. And he would restore these crystals and give it to Michael and Gabriel the two archangels in the end to restore God's millennial kingdom. I don't want to say Derek is Jesus Christ, but in a way, I guess it'd be almost like, I don't know, a tribute to something. So, yeah, I know a lot of people are going to say it's a new age, but I'm not looking at it like that. I'm looking at other ways, and I'm also talking about other things in the story as well. That I would introduce, but I would keep that a secret until I would finish writing it. Which I do have a book on the way. Um, my main character's name, definitely Derek, but it's, there's something else within this that I've been showing that a lot of people don't realize, but I can't wait till it's put out. So, God bless it, man, fire, nice, Godspeed. speed.